1958 exhibition and display of the Society of British Aircraft Constructors, or simply FABRA. Missiles, radar, aircraft, the whole parade of the power and the utility of aviation. The dawn of the space age and of the jet era the real emergence of the helicopters. All these things are reflected in the pageant of the Farnborough skies. First, the current armament of the Royal Air Force, the javelin all-weather fighters, and a cloud of hunters. Representatives of the squadrons of great V bombers, a Victor, a Vulcan, and a Valiant. Valiant doing air-to-air -air refueling. And those maids of much work, the cabin. A rocket-equipped Scorpion camera. A camera with flame and with power and climb. Then quiet utility, the latest Viscount. The 1100 mile an hour plus ferry Delta II, one of our key research aircraft, today being skittish. So being skittish for the new jam. Keeping us ahead in engine development, the Tyne Ambassador test bed. And the now established and successful plant. On with the parade and the Royal Navy's latest and most powerful strike fighters, the Scimitars. Patrol post of the fleet, the early warning gant. Used in A39, Navy's long range, low level radar cheater. Lightning, the P1 as well, now in full production, last they say of the manned fighters. It can do twice the speed of sound and shows off its reheat with a burst of power. Civil contrast, the small field twin pioneer. A distinctive sea vixen naval fighter, which leads in a stable mate, the Comet 4, now gloriously in service again and first in the Atlantic race. showing the new low-level labs or log bombing technique. Throw the bomb off and then loop and half roll to clear the scene. A half roll and away. And the wonder being not that it is well done, but that it can be done at all with such a huge effort. After the victor, a typical Farnborough contrast, the Auster small canvas aerobatics, always so beautifully done. And utility again in crop spray. Sheer spectacle, the Navy's aerobatic team of seahawks. smoke, beautiful figures traced in the sky, and lovely flying followed by a formation landing.
dominating aeroplanes of the 1958 Farnborough, the Copters, the Bristol 192, shown here landing, and as it lands, one engine is blanked off. And with one engine blanked off and flying on one, it gives a demonstration of single engine reliability. Skeeters and the new P-531 add their emphasis to the helicopter importance of 1958. The Westwood Circus, the Wessex, doing small space aerobats that the Auster might end. The Widget, jaunty and gay, obviously enjoying itself. The whirlwind, the Navy's familiar chopper, a family of steady development. It is this development which has led to the prototype twin-engined Westminster, at the moment looking like a cutaway drawing of itself, but which can be a 40-seater airliner, a flying crane. Indeed, its uses and potentialities are almost endless. Westminster rejoins its smaller companions, literally to take a bow. And that parade is followed by the dashing little ultra light, playing kittenish games with its attendant lorry. Rotor tip tower makes a rate of climb for this aircraft which is quite staggering. The impudence, the majesty. The majesty of perhaps the key aircraft of the show, the Rotodyne. This new idea in direct takeoff flight is a helicopter near the ground and a fast auto gyro with ordinary air screws when in cruising configuration. The power goes on to the rotor tips, and the big airliner becomes again a hover plane. A fascinating development for short length air journeys of the future. biggest delta. Futuristic giant. At Farnborough, this aircraft too gets into the aerobatic act. The lab's bombing technique is demonstrated over again. The huge delta loops and then half rolls, elephantine, 
but efficient. A glimpse of secrets, the new standoff bomb carried under a valve. is at play the dashing and the cavorting of four hunters, each with a variety of underwing stores. and then suddenly it was. 22 of them from 111 squadron doing that fabulous formation loop. Six peel away, leaving 16 to do a row. of the aerobatic team, cutting the sky with lovely curves. A new art form, no longer just a stunt. Once again, Farnborough underlines the importance of aviation of all kinds and of Britain's place in this great industry.